Do Nigerians actually think elections can remove government officials who have failed to perform in office? Well, as Nigerians uh, prepare to vote less than five days away, a group known as Afrobarometer, in collaboration with the Clean Foundation, carried out a survey to show if Nigerians actually consider the ballot as an effective means of removing underperforming government officials from office. Here was the response that got from the survey. When we ask people whether they feel that elections are efficient ways of removing leaders who do not perform, on the job. The question was, how well do elections enable voters to remove from office leaders who do not do what the people want? And we find that 28% um, say that elections will not be able to do this, not at all uh, well. Then similarly, 40% say not very well. So if you combine that, you have 68% of Nigerians who feel that elections are not the suitable ways of removing leaders who do not perform in office. Then, on the other hand, 19% feel that um, these ele uh, elections can help them remove bad leaders well, while 10% say this can be done very well. So 19% of Nigerians feel that um, elections are good ways of removing non-performing leaders, while 68% feel that elections will not be a suitable means for removing non-performing leaders. Now, another important question put to a cross-section of Nigerians during the survey was how they rate the performance of government officials. Here's what the group found out. The president is heading into um, the election with 59% disapproval and 39% approval rating, while the National Assembly, to remember, the one that we found to be the most corrupt and the least trusted is found to be, um, it's having a disapproval rating of sick approval of the conduct of their traditional rulers in the past one year, while 40% are in disagreement. In the case of the governor, uh, we have 53% of people who approve of the performance of the state governor and 46% who disapprove of the performance of the government. So from all these findings and cross findings, tabulations, comparison across geopolitical zones and so on, what we summarize is that Nigerians are heading towards the fifth general election since 1999 with strong majority support for democracy as the preferred form of government. However, this preference for democracy is cohabiting with high level of tolerance for values which are values and practices which are at variance with democracy. And some of these values are preference for military rule, um, preference for a president who is not accountable to the parliament, preference for a president who is free to disregard court rulings. Now, the issue of sample size, of course, when surveys are conducted is one big issue. The group revealed that the survey actually, that they actually spoke uh, to, uh, the survey actually speaks for a majority of Nigerians, even though its sample size was 2,400. Here's how a member of the group defended that sample size. The sample size is not a function of What's, whether the result is accurate or not. I, I'll give you a simple analogy. If you are to take a cup of tea, you do not need to take the whole tea before you know how sugary the tea is. Once you throw the sugar into it and it's properly stirred, once it's properly stirred, automatically a little spoon tells you the sugar content. So the same analogy was what we did, or the same thing is what we did. The selection of the respondents was random. For instance, we contracted people in MBS, uh, in MPC, National Public Commission, to help us draw the sample. They have the list of all the EAs in Nigeria. So once they pick this EA, we go there. And yes, we, we go there. And once we also get there, the selection, the, the, the randomness did not stop there. The selection of the respondent also followed randomness.